Hey guys, in this video, as promised, a few videos ago, not too long ago, I hope, I will show you how to copy CD to another CD. Now on this side we have a Netgear driver CD from uh, a 6150 that you probably saw featured on the last video that we touched this topic. And here we have just a regular CD that I have a whole palette of these and I have more and more and more of them. So, without wasting time, we have two of these uh, portable CD DVD drives. One is uh, made by LG. It's the LG that we used on the last video, GP55EX, as you see right there, 70. And the other one is the Samsung 218BB, or Samsung SE218BB. This is what we're going to use today, so we're going to connect them both. I'm just for the ease of use of myself, so I don't lose my own track. I'm gonna put the laptop on the middle here, and it's just gonna probably look cooler. Anyway, I'm gonna put one that I'm gonna read from here, and the other one that I'm gonna write to right here. But f just connect their respective cables. Plug one cable inside your computer. Plug the other, plug the other end of the cable to the DVD drive, and as you see, it's connected. And now, time to connect the other one. You do the exact same thing. You connect it here on the side. There should be a USB here, hopefully. And that, and that USB goes now to the back of this other DVD drive. And we just plug in first the DVD or CD or data CD that you want to copy. This will be the uh, source. We close it. Wait for the computer to recognize. And as you see, the tiny CD uh, symbol there next to our cursor just came up. That means it was recognized. And now we put inside the target would be the blank one that you are wanting to put this data from to. Now we plug this one in on the tray. Close the tray. Wait for the computer to recognize this one too. Once it's recognized. And yes, now it's good. We go to our software. And yes, again, I'm going to use a shampoo. And yes, it says choose what happens with blank CDs. And Burning Studio is opening. Should not take too long. Okay, and now this is the easy part. At least with a shampoo and Nero, Nero uh, Suite, it ha has exactly the same stuff. You just go to copy disk, for example, and you click it. That's all. And we're going to select this one because that's going to be the 55X70. It's the LG here. This is our source CD. We are going to wait for it to be loaded. Because what Ashampoo does, it pre-kind of reads it. And now it gives us a check mark that we are good to go. We hit next. And now in this next screen, reading source CD will be reading from this one, so it grabs the material, and we're just gonna give it for maybe a minute, sometimes less. This entire operation that I'm doing here can be done with only one as well. You'll see in a second, <coughs> I will have that option to eject this CD from here, put the blank one here, and just burn it here. But just to make it cooler and faster, I like to use two of them. Why not? Especially now that nothing has a CD-ROM anymore, I feel like I want to use five of them. Six, seven, eight. <laughs> Reading completed. Now it is time to hit next. Of course, you guessed it right. We hit next and wait for the next screen. And it ejected it. But now in the next one, I'm going to leave it where it's at. I'm going to open this here. And I'm going to select Samsung. The Samsung has our blank CD. So I don't really need to touch this one. If you're in a studio or something, or you want to copy a lot of them, you don't need to use only one. You can use two, as you see. I, I selected Samsung as now my burning target. I'm going to hit right CD right here. And I just wait for the CD to be burnt in it, or written, or transferred. If you want to talk in data language, will be transferred to this CD from here to here. And that is all it took. It's really that easy. There's nothing too hard to do. And the recording has been completed. And this is job well done. So data came in from this CD that you see right here to this one. 
right here was really so easy. Now, as I said before, there's absolutely no reason to use two if you don't want to. You can easily do it with only one at the screen that I showed you where it says, please insert the blank CD instead of pushing it back in like I did in this case. You just simply take this CD from here, put the blank one in. Now what else is left to do here is to take this CD out of here, take this one out of here, and like a nice good old school, you take your marker and you just put a copy here, copy here, and that's all. Let's say you put the names there, and the CD now is a spitting image of this Netgear right here. And with that said, I hope you learned something on this video, and I'm hoping to see you. Hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye!